message Edwards was putting out there, that America is a place that caters to the rich and hammers the poor. That's why the committed left press ignored the National Enquirer investigation that proved to be true. The question now is, who paid to hide the story? Millions of dollars has changed hands. That money must be accounted for. The factor will find out what happened there. But we do not relish any of this. It is a hallmark of the vicious far left and far right to revel in the pain of others. We do not do that. We knew Edwards was a bad guy from the jump and chose to challenge him on the issues. I think we were right to handle it that way. As always, I could be wrong. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Just about every famous person I know has been threatened by somebody. Fame makes you a target. It is something that has to be taken very seriously. As I mentioned before, I've received many threats over the years, everything from death letters to some guy running around the country offering people $25,000 to sign affidavits accusing me of whatever. The lawyers here at Fox News have been great in dealing with these situations, but there comes a time when enough's enough. And so this morning I had to file a lawsuit against some people who are demanding $60 million or they will, quote, punish me in Fox News. $60 million. I really can't say anything else. I don't want to waste your time with this. The justice system has the case. We'll see what happens. But in the end, you should know this is all about hurting me and the Fox News channel. It's a shame we have to live in a country like where this happens, but got to go through it. All right, that's it. End of story. Now for the top story tonight. Secondly, it's a kind of an interesting day for me as I've now become a gossip guy after 30 years of a clean record. I knew once we filed the extortion lawsuit yesterday, this would happen. The press would go wild, printing embarrassing allegations, but I didn't have any choice. We have to let the justice system deal with this. Now, the lawyers have asked me not to talk about this stuff any further. I was on Regis this morning, and it's pretty much going to be it, because I have to respect the lawyer's request. And finally, thousands of you have written me great letters, and your kindness is really appreciated. I hope you know that. And before we get to the Talking Points memo, I have something very important to tell you. All litigation has ceased in that case that has made me the object of media scorn from coast to coast. Today, lawyers issued a statement saying there was no wrongdoing in the case whatsoever by anyone. Obviously, the words no wrongdoing are the key. On a personal note, this matter has caused enormous pain, but I had to protect my family, and I did. Some of the media hammered me relentlessly because, as you know, I'm a huge target, as is Fox News. All I can say to you is please do not believe everything you hear and read. The good news is the factor viewers and listeners seem to have given me the benefit of any doubt when some in the media did not. You guys looked out for me, and I will never forget it. This brutal ordeal is now officially over, and I will never speak of it again. He recently told CJ, although he's down right now, he's convinced he'll come out on top. It's very serious, and uh, I think we'll win it. Bad day, bad day for me. While O'Reilly is demanding any tapes if they exist, his accuser's attorneys say he asked the wrong judge in the wrong place. Apparently, O'Reilly went through the Long Island court that's dealing with his extortion suit instead of the Manhattan court that's dealing with his accuser's suit. Repeated attempts to reach O'Reilly's lawyers were unsuccessful.